I was shocked when uh, I read, read a whole lot of papers in Nature that uh, showed statistics and had experiments where the figures showed error bars, but it didn't say in the figure legends or the materials and methods what the error bars were. So that made me concerned that the authors hadn't read the paper carefully and the reviewers hadn't read the paper carefully and the editors hadn't read the paper carefully. I think a lot of papers get published depending on who the authors are and where they come from rather than the content of the papers. And I think the way to uh, fix that is to uh, have double-blind peer review. Uh, in clinical trials, we have double-blind peer review to reduce the amount of bias that occurs in the patients and in the clinicians. And I think there should be double-blind peer review for journal reviewing as well, so that uh, the reviewers have to judge the papers on their content, not on who the authors are or where they come from. People often ignore the usefulness of statistics before they publish their paper and think that statistics are needed just when they publish their paper. But statistics can also be useful when you're designing experiments so that you can tell which experimental line is going to work from which ones are not going to be useful. I always followed Ernest Rutherford who said, if your experiment needs statistics, you should have thought of a better experiment. And so I think the ideal experiment is one where the results are so clear cut that you don't need to use any statistics, where anybody can see what the answers are.